Turn and ask your question. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aliu Mohammed bin Saba. I'm from Bida Ninja State. I'm student. And my question is, we bow down to respect our elders in my tradition. So I want to have the proof, to prove to them that bowing is not acceptable in Islam. Brother, there's a question that in our culture we bow down our head, he wants to ask. That not is... head. Assalamu alaikum. Not head. We bow down like... Bowing. Completely. Yes, Prostating. No, we bow. Bow down. Prost prostating. Prostate. Squatting. Squatting. Bow, bow is like that. No, only squatting. Only sitting down. Yes. Only sitting down is no problem. Bowing means doing ruku or prostrating, doing sujood is haram in Islam. You only bow down and do sujood to Allah and no one else. Bowing down means ruku, means putting at 90 degrees. Sujood means prostrating completely down, putting your forehead on the ground. Both these are haram. You can only do it to Allah and no one else. But sitting down is not haram, but a person, he wants to show his superior and wants to degrade and you sit down and he stands, that is not good in Islam. It's not good. Sir? But it's not haram. Okay, sir. But a person who thinks he's superior, he's the leader, and he says other people should sit on the floor, I will sit on the chair. This is against the Islamic culture. In Islam, all human beings are equal. Only where you're higher is by taqwa. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zaqin wa unsa wa jalnaakum shum ba wa qaba ila li ta'arafu inna kramakum inda Allah yatkaakum inna la alimun kabeer O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa the only criteria that one person can become superior to the other. It's not sex, it's not color, it's not wealth, it's not caste, but it is taqwa. It is righteousness, it is God consciousness. Hope that answers the question.